over and my name's High Trooper and today I'm walking you guys through how to make a mods folder to your GTA 5 main directory. So I can't stress this anymore. This is the easiest, simplest thing that I see every single person getting wrong in the LSPDFR or GTA 5 community. Throughout my time on YouTube, throughout my time helping people out with their GTA 5 modding career, like kind of thing, however you want to say it, the most times, the most times I've been asked a question, it always relates back to the mods folder, either because they haven't installed it correctly, or because they just don't have one in general. And I can't stress this enough, this is the most important thing when it comes to modding your GTA 5. I see so many people saying, I haven't got this in my mods folder, I haven't got a mods folder, how do I get one? You should, And then people reply back to it in my comments section, oh, you just go into your gaming directory. No, never listen to anyone who tells you to do that, it's a stupid idea, and you should always tell them themselves to make a mods folder and copy and paste the update in X64. This is the easiest thing you'll ever do, when it comes to modding GTA 5. All you guys want to do is open up your file explorer, navigate to whatever drive you installed your GTA 5 on, so if ever you install your GTA 5 on through your launcher, most of the time it's whatever your launcher was installed on. So then select your drive, go to program files 86, choose your launcher, so for me that is Steam, could be Rockstar Games or Epic Games, Steam Apps, and Common. Choose the GTA 5 folder you want to mod. As always, you guys should know this by now. If you've ever watched any video on my channel before, I will always tell you to make sure you have a backup of your LSPDFR so that if anything goes wrong, you can delete that file and you can recopy a clean version and you can mod it again. So choose the GTA 5 modded folder. All you guys want to do now is right click on this blank space here, click new and folder and type mods. That is not mods. There you go. Type mods. And then you guys go, you'll have a little folder, but that is not it. Then all you guys want to do is hold control and left click on X64. Keep holding down control and left click on update. Right click and then copy. Double click into your mods folder. Right click and paste. And there you guys go. You've now successfully installed a mods folder to your GTA 5. It should not take very long, depending on your if you're running the SSD or HDD, it doesn't really doesn't really take that long no matter what you're running it on, but it will t vary depending on your computer specs and your internet and all that kind of stuff. But that is literally the end of this video. So I hope you guys found this video useful. I'm expecting a lot of people to find this video useful. If this didn't help you, comment down below where it went wrong for you. I will 100% try to help you out. If you guys also have a little bit of spare money lying around and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon down in the link below. It is literally one pound. So slightly more in dollars, but it all really obviously will convert straight to one pound. It's the cheapest thing you'll ever have. And you'll get tons of benefits, such as you start to get early access to merchandise. Sometimes when I'm feeling when you're feeling lucky, when I'm when you're feeling lucky, when I'm feeling grateful for you guys, I will give you some free merchandise and I'll give you early access to literally everything I'm doing. And you'll get a Discord VIP role in my server. So make sure you guys join my Discord if you do choose to support me. There's also a second role, which is the £5 tier on my Patreon. And with that, you get everything above, plus a live stream moderator. Obviously, knowing that you guys are, will be sensible with that, and you guys won't delete all the comments. If you guys do, I will instantly remove it, and I will hide you from my channel, and I'll ban you from my channel. So make sure you guys do not, ab make sure you guys do not abuse that. I'll also ban you from my Patreon, so you can never have it again. So make sure you guys do not abuse that if you guys do do my £5 thing. You also get, this is a banging deal, you'll never see this anywhere else on an LSPDFR Patreon. You guys will get a free livery, a livery pack for any any department you want in GTA 5. It could be imaginary, you could tell me to go crazy and do what I want. I'll give you whatever you want for liveries on any car. I'll make it for you, I'll make it happen because you're supporting me, so I'll give the love back to you. If you guys want to join my Discord, click the link down in the description below. You can join that, it takes a few seconds. If you don't have Discord, make an account. I can guarantee you'll love Discord. Not just on my server, but on tons of other servers. And you'll get to know a bunch of other YouTubers also use Discord, not just me. So make sure you guys do install Discord as well. Other than that, thank you guys so much for the continued support over the past few days. All the way, all the, all the way, already over 413 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys so much for the love, and I'll see you guys in the next GTA 5 or LSPDFR tutorial video. Thank you.
Oh, 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 oh,